entire exercise is becoming far more focused and effective than what it used to be a couple of years back when the availability of data was not as exhaustive and scientific as it exists today. So when you have Europe, which does not show any signs of improvement, uh, when Middle East you see that there are uh, socio-political issues that you are grappling with, uh, including Eastern Europe, uh, China is showing signs of slowing down. So my question is uh, for the investors and for the company, which is the next destination they should be looking at? So obviously India. So for your Gen Y, for your leadership roles, which you're looking from, say, the likes of your premier campuses or your campus strategy, what they are looking for is really that right click of a match and their aspiration. You know, how we are able to cater to their calling. And when you say reward, it's not just things in cash or kind but also the kind of challenges that you throw at him. The overall country mood which is looking very positive in terms of things looking good and people wanting to do more and you know being more adventurous in terms of what they have to set up. This segment of saying I will do what I like is expanding rapidly. They are entrepreneurial in their spirit. They are looking at a job from a business standpoint and they are saying very loudly I am willing to compromise my today to build a greater wealth for future. 2015 is the year of the candidate, um, which means more opportunities for candidates, more jobs chasing them. Companies have to stand out and talk about uh, their story in a manner which appeals to the individual. It's not just the job of a recruiter to be a recruiter, everybody is a recruiter. Right from the interviewer, right from the hiring manager, right from the person who greets the individual at the desk because that individual is having an experience and that experience will then end up being a decision-making criteria. Was I treated well when I was nobody? Will I be treated when I'm somebody?